Yeah, all right, fuckers and fuckettes. What we're looking at right now is a uh, little Mercury V V6 Vortec that they uh, they use them on these inboard outboards. And yeah, what a fucking pontoon is doing with an IO. I mean, literally, poor guy had to change, had to pull the whole engine just to change the bilge pump and the starter because there's no room in there to work on that IO. Um, but uh, what goes bad on these most of the time? See, these are raw water cooled. They don't have a heat exchanger like a real saltwater marine engine setup would. Um, whereas the outboards, they're generally aluminum and you don't have these worries. But uh, your manifolds are generally cast on these and they rust out and you're pumping salt water through them and most people, they don't have the sense to flush their engine. Look at this starter. This is why you don't want an I.O. in salt water. Um, and he's fixing to put on new risers. They literally, inside those risers, the guy hadn't been flushing it. And literally inside those risers, it was clogged to the point where you couldn't even, you could run a piece of wire through it, but just barely um, through the water passages. But, uh, see, these will clog up in the manifolds. And you need those to keep the manifolds cool. Um, so that they can go through your hull. If you got a fiberglass hull in this aluminum hull, hell, you could probably just shoot the exhaust straight out, but most people don't do that when they rig these things up. Um, so yeah, it's all that rust there coming out of the inside of the engine. I see so many people put these, IO, these freshwater IO engines in salt water, and that's just an overall bad idea. Yeah, I have, you know, no reason to bitch or anything like that. Um, if you call me, it better be about motorcycles or pussy. If you want to call the marina because you're looking for a part for your boat, their number is 941-698-1444. Um, if you call my number and it ain't about motorcycles or pussy, I really don't like talking to you. <laughs> um, but in the meantime... I just figured I'd show you that. Um, that's what commonly goes wrong. And if it's already gone wrong with your boat, well, I just gave you the marina's phone number. They can uh, look up the part numbers for you and find you some prices. But uh, really, in salt water, you either need a true marine engine with a heat exchanger or an outboard that's made out of aluminum and meant to be in salt water. These IOs. I've never seen one of them that was meant for salt water, other than a couple of the newer Yamahas. And those are so overpriced that I doubt very many people would really, unless the, you know, they're getting it with the boat, I doubt anybody would be ordering them as a replacement. But that's common things that go wrong. And I mean, other than that, you know, normal maintenance on these engines, tune-up, oil changes, and stuff like that's simple. But, uh... I just figured I'd show you that as long as those manifolds and the starter and stuff is out. Um, this is an overall bad design here. Um, for freshwater, it may have been great because freshwater doesn't eat stuff up as bad as saltwater. I mean, look at those engine mounts. You know, open pan in the back of a. Let me zoom out on that. In the back of a damn pontoon with an I.O. Pontoon with an I.O. is strange enough, but this is really strange. Alright, we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckheads later.